Good day everyone and welcome to another episode on my channel the RV Mate. Yes, well, we have an, another job for today, which is um I'm gonna show you. Today I wanna clean oh by the way, I uh, spray painted that one in blackish grey like anthracite and it looks so good. Look at the emblem. Oh, um made this one in white. Isn't it beautiful? So, but back to topic. So anyway, today what we're gonna do is I wanna clean my, the heater today. As you can see, it's still dirty and dust everywhere, especially here in the back. The, the fan is just uh, full of dust. So I'm gonna get that one out and I'm gonna clean this one with some brush and, and then later I'm gonna just, um, uh, clean the fan with some air. I bought some. Uh, where is it? It's just uh, spray air, air spray pressure, however you call it, in a can. So I can just use that one because I don't have a compressor at the moment. So yeah, that's the job for today. So let's uh, start, guys. Before we start, I just want to give you a little advice because I had the same problem last time because I didn't know. So my heater, I know that my heater, um, well, used to work and I took the cover off and then at one point it didn't work. So I couldn't see any ignition here. Usually you have this uh, little spark in here if you turn it around. I mean, there is no gas on at the moment, but you can hear a click. I hope you can hear that. Um, on the video. So that's the little spark to ignite the gas. Problem last time was I couldn't hear this click anymore. So I had a look at it and what did I find? I'm pretty sure like most of you guys noticed this here is a little battery case and for what is this for? Yes, for the spark. So that one wasn't in properly. It was just like that, you know, you can barely see it that it's not in. So I just clicked that one in, huh? come on, like this. Now it's now it's in and now you should hear it click again. So and as soon as I take it out, boom, you can not even see that. So make sure it's properly inside this little case here to make sure your heater is going to work. Mm. Okay guys, look at this, it looks already better, as you can see, um, okay, I just need to put the battery case back in here, I took that one out, so I can also clean behind that one, and now I want to get out um, the, the fan in the back, so, and how you do this is, we need to do it uh, inside, like, go inside the wardrobe and take it out from the other side. And yeah, just by the way, so I bought um, different kind of brushes, smaller one, mid one, and a big one, so I can reach all the gaps and also round one. Um, yeah, pretty handy, pretty handy. And oh yeah, by the way, the stick is just in here, and uh, you can just uh, take the one, just take it out, and that's it. So it won't be in the way as well. And that's how you do it. Alrighty, let's have a look from the other side. Yeah. And for that, first I need to get out all the stuff. By the way, if you need a carpet, let me know. I have some those beautiful old school carpets. There you go, this is the fan. We need to take this cover here off and then um, disconnect the cables, should be two, positive and negative. And then we can unscrew that one here. Sides, I hope there is no screw underneath. Not like the fuse box. 
And that's it. By the way, as you can see, I don't have any houses here at the moment because I took these ones out. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I cleaned these ones up. And then in a couple of days, I want to put a chlorine inside um, inside the tank to disinfect that one. And also another like tank cleaner I bought on Amazon I want to put inside. But first some chlorine to kill all the germs inside the pipes. I hope that's going to work. All right, let's go forward from here then. This time I'm lucky, so I have a torch light so you can at least see something. My, my GoPro is not the best. Oops, not like this, like this. So just, uh, I took the three screws out, one here, left and right. And now we can already move the fan. So what we need to do now is, like I said, we need to take off the, the power. And then we have left and right two hoses. Um, one one goes into the back. Um, um, it's behind there. Um, and the other one goes um, to the front. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. Oops. So these two holes. One one goes right next to the end here, behind the cover, and the other one goes to the front, and that's where the fan kind of brings the hot air to. So, yeah, but we need to disconnect these ones as well. And I'm going to have a look inside. And, um, yeah, let's go. But first, I'm going to disconnect the power. So the wires are off, guys. Um, actually, I'm pretty lucky because um, the sign here says in which order I need to put the wires. So the colors are on the sign. So that makes it a bit easier. But anyway, I took a photo just in case. And let's move on and uh, get those hoses off. So what I need to do to get the hoses off, there is a little screw. I hope you can see that now. There is a little screw um, that we need to take off and that's pretty much it. Then we can pull it out. I hope you can oh this screw oh there you go you can see perfectly so we need to take the screw off and then we can just take the hose out there it is it's out too easy okay, i can take the head torch off so what i'm gonna do before i clean this is um i'm gonna give it a good clean here as well or, well let's see what i can do and uh after that, I'm gonna move on to the fan here. Okay guys, I took the plastic cover off to give it a proper clean even inside. I was not satisfied with the results because there's still some gunk or something like that. There's still some dirt inside, as you can see. So yeah, now I'm giving it a proper clean and hope that's better. Look at the results. Ah, can you see that? Maybe I should need to go outside. Looks way better now inside all the dust is out yeah just a bit but that's all right so what i'm gonna do now before i put it back in i'll connect and test it <clears throat> to make sure it's it's still working hopefully i didn't break it all righty everything is connected for the test now i'm gonna turn on the battery again and then let's have a try Battery 
is on. We can shut that here. Power on the second battery. And let's switch on the fan. Oh, we can already hear it. Perfect. Still running. Still running. Oh, that's good. Good, good pressure. Good air pressure. More than enough. Perfect. Alrighty. So now we can just put everything back in. I'm gonna put the cover on and um, yeah, put it back in. Connect the hose to the fan, and that's it. We're done. Then. Well, the hoses are back on on both sides, and I already screwed in the fan. Well, just one screw missing there, and then I'm gonna connect everything. But it seems to be all right to me. Perfect. Sorry that I couldn't um, show you how I did it because I can't mount my camera uh, somewhere at the moment. I'm missing one of my cases. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you will get the idea how this works. So actually it's pretty easy, it's not a big job to do. And look at this, now it looks way better. Perfect, perfectly clean. It's working, whoop, job done. And guys, by the way, I had the heater on before just to test it. And I really have to say, the airflow is way, way better than before. It's way stronger and it's pretty cool. I'm happy, whoop. Another job done. Okay, everyone. Yeah, that's it for today. I'm pretty happy with my job today. Um, I think I'm just gonna do another small job, but I'm not gonna record that one. Just wanna brush the, the legs of my table uh, in the same color um, like the, uh, the heat cover. So like enter side. So because it's still the old brown and I, I don't really like that one and um, but yeah that's uh, pretty much that's pretty much it for today and maybe tomorrow we'll see or the next video is gonna be about my fridge because I definitely need to get, need to get that one out and um, yeah fix that one alrighty so stay tuned take care Subscribe and see you next time. Peace.